Hey Virgo, welcome back. Welcome back. Hope you guys had a great weekend. If you had a birthday over the weekend, I hope you had a happy birthday weekend. If you have a birthday today, happy birthday. <laughs> All right, you guys. So we're going to take a look at the week ahead. Oh my goodness. Um, September, I don't even know. Fifth, yep, 16th through the 22nd. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're new and you like my readings, please smash that like button and do subscribe. You can also become a member of my channel to get extra bonus content that the public does not get to see. All right, you guys, so let's get in this. Personal reading link is in the description box below this video. All right, let's take a look at your week. Let's see what's going on. What's gonna show up for Virgos this week? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cards are like, oh, okay. All right, one more. There we go, okay. And one last one there. All right, let's take a look. Take a look and take a look, take a look. Oh, wow, you got new love and a wish coming true. I like when that starts out for you. Definitely a new start. New love starts happening this week for you, Virgo. I know, I know. You say that every week. Well, it's not going to happen for everybody, but, you know, be hopeful, right? There's some kind of blessing coming in. I will tell you, whether it's love that you're looking for, or you're going to have a new baby, or you're adopting a child, or there's a grandchild you're going to find out about, new grandchild, or new relationship, or proposal, or marriage, or any kind of thing that makes your heart just jump for joy. Some kind of wish. This is what I feel. There's a wish coming true. So did you blow out your candle, Virgo? Is there something that you've been wishing for? Um, this can be a continuation because we did see this last week. So continuation, like there's still hope is what I feel is going on here. Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups. So <clears throat> this is a wish coming true this week and it's going to make you very, very happy. Whatever your wish, your wishes are, whatever you blew, you know, that, you know, that wish that you made when you blew out that candle or the one you're about to make because you have a birthday coming up this week, that that's going to happen for you. So hooray happy happy joy joy whatever it might be whether it's to do with your work your your relationships your emotional emotional wish being granted mostly something here that will make you feel very happy and for some of you this can be some type of related to good health okay <laughs> something about your health maybe you're going to start eating more i don't know look pumpkins pumpkin coffee like pumpkin there's a pumpkin pineapple apples grapes when you start eating more fruits as far as your health goes you know what's interesting about this i see so this tablecloth it's got like starfish it's got some clams it's got some seashells it's a very watery kind of energy um some of you this might be like Maybe you're going to start drinking more smoothies. There's something here about your health, okay? Which it feels very positive. You're going to start... Some of you might have like you're making some healthy choices or some changes in your, your food or your eating. And um, I don't know. I kind of look at this person's face. It's like, eh, I guess I'll eat that. You know, maybe you're going to cut out the junk, right? Because there's some kind of new health thing that you're on. I mean... It could be a medicine, nine and one is 10. So there could be a medicine that you're gonna start taking that you might be a little hesitant about taking, but I feel like it's gonna, it's gonna make you better. This is what I'm hearing. So if you're hesitant or you have a fear, you're not sure, you're kind of hemming and hawing about some kind of medicinal thing or something to do with something you're ingesting or injecting, I feel like I feel like it's it's going to work out for you. It's going to be okay. Maybe you have a fear of taking something, something along those lines, right? So this does feel like it's connected to food also, okay? So there could be a food thing going on. There could be something also here in regards to drinking. So anything you ingest or you drink, a fluid or a food, okay? But I also feel like as far as love and things, something that will make you feel emotionally happy, um, maybe like I said, some kind of wish you're making or something along the lines is definitely going to happen for you this week, okay? Right, 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 right? So, okay. Somebody is also very stressed that you block them. They're very stressed. 
you have a lot of anxiety that you've blocked you've blocked you did you block somebody and there's no communication or that you are um, protecting yourself or you haven't made a decision about something i feel like um or you might be very stressed that somebody blocked you right maybe that's going on might be a little bit of anxiety over that um this week okay or something comes up or someone decides it could be somebody decides to uh, make a decision in regards to that, maybe to unblock or reach out or make some kind of communication with you. There's a decision getting made. Um, I feel like somebody is having a lot of anxiety about, about a decision that they made. And this week, they're going to be like, they can't stand it anymore in regards to a decision they made. And then they're, they're gonna try to undo this decision or come to some kind of compromise. You also have, um, could be a Cancer or a Pisces, but also a water sign here who is, feels like lurking vibes, secretly lurking. There's a little bit of some secrets. So water sign is kind of, they're not revealing themselves this week, right? Just a tiny little bit. Um, looking for some kind of truth. They're looking for some kind of, they're seeking some kind of truth. Um, but they're also making some very, like making some voluntary changes. Like they're making a decision. It could be related to this. But they're making a decision to change something this week. Okay, so you're going to find out about that for sure. And you also have um, the Nine of Wands in the world. So you definitely have some um, barrios, bar barrios, cheerios. You have some barrios. God, I can't say the word barriers up in regards to making some kind of change. You're not ready for some kind of change just yet this week. Um, now, there could be something going on, some type of online communication that you're pushing back against also. Um, you might be not really putting yourself out there on social media too, and you might be kind of protecting yourself this week not letting anybody in you're not letting anybody see exactly what's going on in your life okay i don't know i feel like you're kind of distancing yourself maybe from some internet activity of some sort maybe you're just deciding to go off the grid for a little bit and go spend more time in nature like touch grass you might be doing that this week as well um there's also some kind of trip or travel coming up this week for you and i feel like um there isn't there's kind of like this, no, you can't go. You're putting up boundaries about that. You're you're saying no about some kind of travel or trip. You're not going to go. Okay. You're saying no. You're not going to go. You're also not finished with a goal. Okay. You're not done with some kind of goal just yet, I'm hearing. You have a little bit more to go. Or it's just not complete yet it wants to be complete but you're just not ready for something to be complete oh gosh you also have um showing up this week a very nasty mf -er that you may have children with or had children with um or that's connected to your past it could be a father or a sibling um why are they showing up here hold on could be an ex could be a father could be a brother Oh, okay. Going to give you some pushback this week in regards to either some children or some siblings or something along those lines. Seven of Wands. This person is very, like, they have a nasty ego, okay? Whoever they are. It shows up as an Aries. It doesn't have to be an Aries, but they have a very nasty ego. You know, the Emperor in reverse. Oh, my gosh. It's someone who's just very immature. They have problems with power, authority. They're not good. They're poor planner. They blame everything on everybody else. This is a big nasty ass. And with the seven of wands, I feel like this person's showing up this week being very like, like I don't see them attacking you, but I see them not taking accountability. They're being very defensive this week with you. Hmm. Could be a boss. Maybe you work with children. To be a boss just just being um acting very childish this week and it's gonna have an effect on you well it may not have an effect on you it just may be something that you're like oh okay i see i don't know how you're gonna deal with it but it's gonna present this week as well 
so watch out for that i feel like this this should be called the like weekly warning okay eight of wands and eight of cups okay somebody's born in 88 but um oh my gosh this is really amazing you have two eights maybe eight eight is connected to you maybe in your phone number your social um your address your birth like maybe you were born 1988 or um you just have a connection to 88 or 888. You could be seeing that a lot. Now, give me a second here. Somebody's returning from your past and they're coming in really quick, Virgo, this week. Like love bombing, eight of wands energy, whoa. Cupid's arrows, they're coming in fast. There's a swift change. Yeah, I feel like this is someone that, um, had, you had a connection to that temporarily left that left a situation, but it, guess what? It was only temporary. They weren't going to be gone. Um, there was a withdrawal, um, but I feel like there's a return. Yes, there's definitely a return, or, or they're thinking about returning very quick. They want to come home. Somebody wants to come home. Okay. So you also have the Two of Cups this week. Somebody might be returning home from school or, or going back to school or military thing going on. It's going to happen really fast. It's returning or going. It could be going, you know, for them. All right. Hmm. Somebody tries to work something out with you this week. There's a bit of give and take here. Somebody tries to... Um, work something out with you so you guys can get on the same page compromise or there might be some negotiation happening this week where you and another person you guys kind of meet in the middle and you're like okay we can do this yes 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 this could be a relationship two people um kind of like sorting things out there's like a giving and receiving energy here Okay, so you have the High Priest, and you have the Empress, wow. Okay, you got a mother figure showing up here this week who's trying to get you to, I don't know, go to church maybe. Hold on a minute, this one... Oh, okay. No, there's someone, somebody's expecting. Is it you? I know it's not all of you. I know not all of you are in that stage of life. I know some of you could still be. You might find out either you or someone close to you is expecting. This is totally, this is, so this kind of feels like someone that you, like you, like you can't see a baby bump. This is like, hey, I've been late. I just took my, I just took a test and it looks like I might be right i'm gonna have to go to the doctor somebody goes to the doctor you know it could be your daughter or you know your son's wife or it's just a connection or family member or, you know nieces nephews whomever could be you but i, I feel like with the high priest this this kind of gives me a sense of like a hospital energy maybe maybe it's like a religious hospital you know um for some of you but it, it gives me a sense of like a like a like a hospital <laughs> you know like you know nobody is Nobody is, um, you know how they used to, some moms, like, people would take, like, a string and then, you know, spin it over the baby with, like, a piece of metal or a coin or, a or something at the end of it to be able to see the sex of the baby. This feels like maybe it could be going in for maybe um, an ultrasound, finding out the sex of the baby, but it's doing it, like, through some kind of hospital of some sort. So that, I feel like that's happening. Either it's finding out going like into the going into the doctor's office like in an actual test not something you buy like over the counter just doing it like an actual test or going in and and you know getting you know in a medical center and, and getting some information in regards to someone who's expecting or finds out they're expecting to have a child so if this if this is you congratulations if you're happy about it if, if it's like another grandchild or your first congratulations that's a nice birthday gift some of you could be wishing for that or one of your kids is expecting. Hooray. 
Happy, happy, joy, joy. Okay, wow, Virgo. Nice cards. The Six of Wands and the Magician. So this is 100% like manifesting victory and success. I don't know what you're going to be doing, Virgo, but, you know, put your cards all out on the table. Make this, make shit happen, Virgo. Whatever you're creative or you're turning your visions into reality, I'm telling you, whatever you're thinking about and you have like, you can foresee, you have like a vision board maybe, or you could just foresee an end result to something and you see yourself in that end result where it's good. I'm telling you, if you're not doing that yet, do it. Try to conjure up an image or make a vision board of Putting yourself in that future position of success, do it. Start doing that, um, practicing that, start manifesting that. But those of you that have been doing that, I'm telling you, you're on your way. Wherever it is you want to end up, wherever you want to be, you're on your way to that. Okay, anything else? Okay, so you have the King of Swords showing up. Oop. There's a couple here, air sign and uh, and you. Okay, yep. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. There's a match. This is a match. Okay, this could be a work thing too. So when I say like a couple, this is partnership. It could be romantic partnership, friend partnership, work partnership, whatever it is. Um, there's definitely going to be some communication between the two of you of something real and tangible, right? Um, and yeah, good fortune. So I see things moving in your favor, in both of your favors, with an air sign. Definitely. Something, there could be like, there's 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 a connection to money, small a small fortune turning into a large fortune. Some of you are getting a promotion or a raise. That, and if you're thinking about doing that, and that's connected to this person this week, is the week to do it. You may have been thinking about it, and you're just like, I need to ask for a raise. I need to find out about like more money. You've been very patient about that, but it looks like if you if you're if you haven't been thinking about that, this is the week to really start like looking at your value and your, your worth. Yeah. And really like either going to an employer and requesting that or applying for that or asking for that. And if they don't give it to you, move on. There's something better out there for you. But even in, as far as like a romantic relationship, some of you might've been kind of like thinking about, you need to ask somebody like, Hey, what's going on here? Like, what are we doing? Are we moving forward? Is this wheel moving? The wheel in the sky keeps on turning. Where are we going to be tomorrow? Like, what are we doing? So I feel like there's a message here for you to like, if you've been thinking about talking and having a talk with someone, talk, talk with them, get it out. Yeah, that's a message here because I feel like the outcome is going to be in your favor. It's going to work out for you. Okay, last two. Oh, yeah. And again, again, there's a secret crush, a secret admirer. Someone, listen, Virgo, someone in your life, I don't know who it is or where they're at. What's going on? But there is someone here who secretly has a thing for you. Like, seriously. They secretly think about offering <laughs> some kind of romantic offer to you. Why they haven't done it, I don't know. Um, I think they're going through some kind of a awakening at this point where they know they, they need to do that. I mean, if you just secretly sitting there not doing anything like that sucks yeah they're, they're obsessed with you somebody's obsessed with you so it could be a cancer or a pisces it could be a water sign full on let's see what else is your message here all right children definitely showing up this week like we said everything happens for a reason acceptance in regards to children if you're not happy about a child or someone uh, coming into your life whether it's through you or someone else. I feel like um, there's a reason for this. There's a purpose for this child coming into your life. Accept this. There's a there's a bigger reason att att attached to it that you may not know now. There's a purpose for it. Okay. Lean on your inner circle during this time. Seek out your support group. 
Okay, there is a relationship that is passionate but not enduring. Could be strictly sexual. This week might be something you got to take a look at. Be like, this ain't going nowhere. Um, or is it? <laughs> I know, right? It's like two different messages. It, it, like, seriously, why does spirit play that game? Marriage. This relationship is moving toward a sacred union. Strictly sexual. This connection is passionate but not enduring. I get it. Someone here wants more and someone on the other side thinks... No, this is just strictly sexual. Virgo, that might be part of you need to find out. Yeah, you need to like either do some self-reflection or you need to ask this person, what are your intentions here? Where are we going? And if they're not on the same page as you, then, you know, you got to find that out and move on. If someone's not on the same page with you, move on. Just move on. Just do it. Just be done. All right, we're not in alignment. See ya. You know, you're not going to stay at a job if they're, like, not going to pay you what you're worth and they expect you to do all this work. Hey, we're not in alignment. So if you can't meet my need here, then I'm going to go find a better job where I can get my needs met. It's very simple. I know it's, I know some of you are like, no, but I love this person and they're having a hard time and they're, they're really struggling. Shut the fuck up with that. That's their problem. They're a grown-ass adult. If they're not on the same page with you, not heading in the right direction, based on the fact that you know what you want and you know what direction and how you would like things to be, then what are you hanging around with someone like that for? Are you waiting for them to change? Because they're not going to change. People come in, they show you exactly who they are. So take it for take it for who they are. Accept them for who they are. Right? And so if you if this so if you're with someone who wants a relationship to move more towards marriage and that kind of thing and you're just like, nah, I just want sex and they want more than you got to say. Sorry. Be honest. Be upfront with people. Sorry. It's not for me. Right? And, um, yeah, of course, it, I mean, people will deal with it. People will, they'll self-soothe. They'll self-soothe. <laughs> Let people work on their own selves. Don't, don't, don't be walking around pulling a Jen Soto, staying with someone who's just going to be abusive and, and like a sicko sorry you know my crimes i get i'm really into crime i gotta figure out a way to start up a channel doing all the crime stuff you guys i've been racking my brain how i'm gonna do it oh oh it's coming it's gonna come before the end of the year i'm telling you we're gonna have a whole new channel not it won't be on here it'll be a it'll be another one but it's just going to deal strictly with crime. Right. So here you go. Does the situation align with your values and morals? Some of you just need to let go and be done with someone. Because it's just not meant to be. Right? It's okay. You can do that. Release. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. But you might be stuck longing for someone. You do have someone secretly yearning for you. And we saw that. But that doesn't mean anything. If someone's longing for you and they're not doing anything about it... Um, move on. You can sit, wish in one hand and shit in the other and see which comes out first. Make, make things happen or move on. All right, let's see what your, your message here. Mm, moving. <laughs> this must be the theme. I don't know. Change of residence or moving in with your partner. Moving out of your out of your partner's place, or, you know, moving out. Yep. Big big ticket items this week. Some of you, it might not be any of that. Some of you are just like, you know what? I'm gonna move, or I'm gonna start looking around. And some of you might be moving in with someone. Congratulations. Okay. Some of you let go, make room for the the new beginning on its way to you now. Okay. Oh, some of you got a narcissist that you're dealing with. Some of you do. There's a fine line between people who are, have an avoidant attachment style and narcissism. It's really hard to tell the difference, but it doesn't matter because it's an insecure attachment style. Right? So if you're dealing with someone who's very full of themselves, they come across as being very narcissistic, um, or they're very avoidant and, you know, because they're just very insecure, it's not healthy for you. Move out. Move on. Some of you, yeah, definitely got to get away from, yeah, this lying narcissist. You got lying, someone's sneaky and lying. Don't waste your time with those people. Wolf in sheep's clothing. That's all that is. They're, they might even be gay or hiding their sexuality. Um, you know, it's one thing to, 
you know, everybody, you know, there's people, they, they have their preferences, right? Or they're just gay. They're just born that way. Whatever it is. It doesn't matter. But lying about that, um, it's not helpful to anyone. Um, or you could be dealing with someone who, you know, <laughs> if they're a narcissist, they're acting like they're a certain way, but they're going behind your back and they're sleeping with other of the same sex and they're doing some kinky stuff. Yeah. So pay attention to that. Um, yeah, you just had the no card. So for some of you, you just got to say no. This reading is going in a particular direction. Sorry. Just the way it's showing up here. Yeah. So he's got an addiction. It's this narcissist. They're, they're like confused about their sexuality or they're lying about their sexuality or they're going behind your back and they're on like maybe porn sites and they're doing really bad stuff. Okay. Okay. Like, because they're lying, they're lying to you. They have a problem with an addiction. They might have a porn addiction, gambling, bad finances, right? Now, listen, if you have a person in your life that you love very much, you guys are just having problems. You're just basic. You have basic, basic issues, okay? You got in an argument, you get in a fight, you have basic everyday problems, right? Do not go to your partner and be like, well, I have to leave you because House of Virgo said that you're secretly gay or you're secretly straight and you are not, you're sneaking around on porn sites, you're, you're addicted to drugs, alcohol, gambling, you're a liar. Like, do not take what I say and place it and project it, right? If you know that this is what you've been dealing with or you have a hunch or suspect something, listen, anybody who's doing the right thing by you is never going to give you reason to doubt them. Okay, just the fact that you have a doubt, even if you can't pinpoint exactly what it is, just the fact that you have a doubt causes a lack of trust in a relationship. And if the, the relationships have got to have transparency, that's just how I feel about it. You can't, you know, if you can't be transparent and be like, just be who you are in someone's face and just be like, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I probably gambled too much. Yeah, I think maybe I should take a look at that, you know, like. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of humility. People have a little bit of empathy. It's very easy to tell when people are faking humility and empathy. It's very easy to tell because they're just ass kissers. People with true empathy and humility are not ass kissing. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, but the good news is you may have a date lined up for some of you. Got a date. Get ready to be wined and dined. So, you know, maybe you're going to go out on your birthday. Someone take you out for drinks or some dinner or something, appetizers for your birthday, or go somewhere fun. Look forward to that. I hope that happens because that would be great for you. All right. We're going straight into, because you know what, you guys, I got to get off here because I got to see what's going on in the news. Seriously. There's a lot of stuff going on right now at the time that I'm making this video. So I need to go catch up. Love y'all. I'm just hearing the word key. So like the, the keys, the Florida keys. Might be a connection to the keys, um, or you live near a place that has a key. It's spelled with a Q, I believe. Um, could be like a name of a town or something. And also, some of you, you're gonna find a key that you lost. And I'm also hearing uh, something to do with the keys to a new place. You might get them this week. Okay, we have Taurus, Gemini, Sagittarius, double Gemini, actually. So those could be the ones who are uh, you're connecting with. Okay, we have September 9th, someone's 31, 1986, 1970, someone's 49, 1987, someone's 35, September 9th, again, wow, it's twice, or 99, so I was born 99, August 25th, or someone's 25, someone's 55, um, someone's 21 or September 21st, someone's 41 or turning 41, 65, 75, 57, September 2nd, somebody drives a Kia, I'm picking up Virginia, something significant happening in Virginia, or that's somebody's name or where you live, uh, September 17th. Somebody has a birthday in May you, that you could be connected to, significant, and also December. Somebody's eating KFC, <laughs> have a little KFC. Um, all right, so the initials are giving me, so we've got an F. Someone's last name is Ficky or Vicky. Ficky 
or Vicky. Okay, we have an, a K, we have the letter I, letter O, letter F, letter C, initials, Kiki, kiosk, somebody's doing something with a kiosk, Ava, somebody's name is Ava, um, we have Ova, Ove, 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 somebody's name is Ivy, Keo, Kia, I said Kia, somebody's in Colorado, there's connection to Colorado, um, oops, we have a C, C, F, C, F, F, I, okay, F Flavio, somebody's name is Flavio, somebody's eating rye, rye bread, Somebody's getting COVID or has COVID right now. Hope you feel better. Someone's in Alaska. Someone's name is Kay or Katie. Okay. Idaho. It's connection to Idaho. Hey, there's my initials. Full full stop the whole way through. Um, somebody lives in Covina. Okay. Um, somebody's getting an IV, IV, IV drip. Something to do with an IV drip. Somebody likes E which is like yay, Kanye, something with Kanye, maybe something showing up with Kanye, Kanye this week, who knows. You know, you never know with him, it's always something. Like, I talk like I know the guy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, uh, hold on. Anything else, anything else, spirits, is there anything else that you wanna share? Someone's in the Air Force, okay. There's a connection to the Air Force or the Royal Air Force, could be either one. Um, there's a connection to Oak Tree. There's an Oak Tree. Someone has a favorite Oak Tree. And now they're also saying oats. Somebody makes overnight oats. There's eating oats. Kova, Kova. Okay, let's get Try Your Charm. Let's see what else is showing up here. Give Virgo a charm. Gave you two. Aww. And I'm not looking, I'm not looking. I'm just pulling the charms out. Okay. So we have a navy blue star. So somebody might be in the navy or is receiving, um, I guess, do you get stars in the military? Yeah, I guess you get a star or a medal of some sort. Is it navy blue, I think? It's hard to tell. Hold on. Let me put it on white and see if we can see. Is it blue or is it emerald green? I can't tell. Yeah, because the light's not bright enough. Hold on. Oh no, I'm sorry, you guys. It's actually oh, glittery emerald green. It's not blue. Oh, it's gorgeous. A glittery emerald green star. All right, there's a connection to that. You guys, answer my question down in either the comments or in the chat. I have to ask you, should I do a channel on crime or UFOs? Let me know what you think. I'll see if I can put a poll in there, but yeah, leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Because I really, really, really want to bring some stuff out in this world here. Make a contribution to some really cool... Um, not cool, but stuff to do with like, the psychological stuff and also the UFOs and aliens, very spiritual stuff, right? So you also have um, a music symbol here, Virgo. So you might be connected to music. You could be just really getting into music this week. Maybe you're going to start playing some music or writing or creating music this week for yourself. Connection to music, or either you or someone that you're connected to. And you also have, I love this flower. It's a five star flower petal, five petal, not star, five pointed flower. Um, so I'm, they're telling me white mums. Said, so look out for white mums. If you see a white, I know that's not typical. They're usually yellow, you know, um, chrysanthemums. They're usually yellow, orange, purple. Um, what other colors, you know, like for the fall, but they're saying a white mum. If you see a white chrysanthemum, like plant somewhere, 
this is definitely a reading for you. Okay, this is definitely going to be your reading for this week. They're just saying a white chrysanthemum. So it's, you know, I, it's not that it's not, I, I there, it's not that they're rare. It's just you don't generally see them. You'll see more of the other colors. They, they, those would be more in the mass amount of what you would see, but not generally the whites as much. But if you see a white, there's something specific there. Okay. Also, I'm hearing a little baby boy. Um, also for someone, a gender reveal, a little baby boy. Okay. And I'm also hearing for others, there is... Um, a girl somebody's a little girl's room either it could be gender reveal but it could also be a little girl's room that has like pink starfish or pink stars all over the room like it's decor and i'm seeing pink stars all right you guys so i'm gonna leave that reading there i hope you enjoy that you know i'll be back tomorrow so do leave me a comment let me know what what other besides i'm still gonna do my channel don't worry i'm not gonna stop doing my house of virgo but um let me know what what would you be more interested do you want to be do you want to see more along the lines of like crime you know making like re reaction videos of crimes and stuff like that or would you guys be interested in like the whole ufo thing i don't know let me know all right love you guys have a fantastic week i will see you back here tomorrow happy birthday again if it's your birthday don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my readings and also to become a member yeah so you can become a loyal member 2.99 per month where you get cool badges and emojis everything is in the trailer before the video starts um or you can pay to become a vip member and with that you'll get bonus content readings that you that we normally everybody else doesn't get to see okay so leslie mayfield mayfield thank you joanne carballo thank you pauline Bien, Bieniak, thank you. Alyssa Trujillo, thanks for becoming a member. Blackfoot Tribal Princess, Marvin Tyler, Bridget Jackson, Elle Michelle, Terry Poff. Thank you guys for joining. I'm super, super grateful to have you. Really appreciate it. And um, let me see, was there anybody new that I, that I missed? No, I think I got everybody else. All right, you guys. So yeah, I will see you back here tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye, mods. Thanks. I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one